For Katya and Maurice, the unknown is not something to be feared. It is something to go toward. Moi, j'aime bien qu'il par... qu marche devant moi. Je me dis, s'il va se tuer, je préfère être avec lui, donc. For two decades, French volcano experts Katie and Maurice Kraft roamed the planet chasing volcano eruptions and documenting their discoveries. Ultimately, uh, they died in a volcanic explosion in 1991, but their story lives on in a new National Geographic documentary, Fire of Love. The film's director, Sarah Doza, joins us live. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us what is so compelling about these two. Um, they obviously were, it's a great love story. Is it the fact that they just spend all of their time at volcanoes? What makes this a documentary? Um, I think it, what makes it a documentary is that it's it's a true story about Katya and Maurice Kraft's life. Um, they spent uh, 20 years roaming the planet trying to document the most you know, explosive and spectacular imagery of volcanoes in an effort to really understand their power um, from a scientific perspective. But they're very much artists. Um, what I find so compelling about their story is not just the fact that they contributed volumes to the field of volcanology, but they were in love with each other as well as the earth. So we really see this as a love story, um, as a scientific story as well, uh, one that also uh, plays in philosophy. Uh, they're very humorous. Uh, some people have called it a romantic comedy, um, but it's a love story uh, first and foremost about these two humans and their love for the earth. What is it that they're trying to figure out about volcanoes? Uh, Katya and Maurice were trying to figure out everything they could about volcanoes, um, how they worked, how they functioned, uh, from um, you know the, the science of uh, chemistry uh, to geology. Um, Katya was a trained ge geochemist, for example, and Maurice was a geologist. But they really saw um, their largest contributions really being their camera work. They were able to capture this fleeting phenomenon, you know, that are volcanic eruptions that never happen in the same way twice. Um, to to, you know, the screen through their work. They were able to document it uh, so it could be studied time and time again. Uh, so that was one of the things that they really contributed uh, to the fields that continues to live on, even though, you know, they, they died 30 years ago in an eruption themselves. So some of these, this footage, this is, is this, is this as close as anyone had ever gotten to a volcano at that point? I mean, now obviously there's drones that can fly over things, but is that, is that what's pretty amazing about what they did? That's them standing by the mouth of the volcano. It is them standing by the mouth of the volcano, yes. And as far as we know, um, it's the closest people have, have gotten with cameras uh, to ex erupting volcanoes. Of course, people through millennia have been curious about and exploring volcanoes. Uh, but Katya and Maurice were, were some of the only ones uh, to film at that close range. Um, and by doing so, they certainly taught us volumes about how the earth works. So if they do so much about volcanoes, how did they, how did they die at a volcano, what happened? What is the story there? So Katya and Maurice uh, studied many things throughout their uh, their incredible careers, but towards the later stage of their lives, they really committed themselves to studying explosive volcanoes, um, specifically uh, what's known as a pyroclastic surge. Um, that's essentially uh, a burning hot gas cloud that can travel about 130 seconds uh, or 130 miles per second, um, I believe. So extremely fast, extremely hot. One of the most dangerous forces on the planet. Uh, Katya and Maurice thought that if they could capture an image of a pyroclastic surge, they could use that image to um, help uh, governments, um, officials, uh, and people who live, you know, at the base of volcanoes to understand this force in an effort to uh, evacuate with enough time or to create warning signals to teach people really to, to live in relationship with volcanoes. Mm -hmm. Um, however, it was in the act of filming a pyroclastic surge uh, on Mount Unzen in Japan alongside their, their dear friend and, and guide, Harry Glicken, that um, they ultimately lost their lives. Mm. Well, you can see Fire of Love in theaters now. You can go to films.nationalgeographic.com and you can follow Sarah on Twitter. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks so much for having me. Time now.